welcome back to... <laughs> I was going to say Monday Movie Hunting, but it's not that, is it? <laughs> it's not Monday Movie Hunting. You've come to the wrong place. I love that film. I love that film. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to... I love that film. I love that film. Woo. So, this is maybe episode seven, and it is my pick this time, and I was super duper excited because... The film I picked, I know that I knew when I picked it that I was still going to love it at the end of it, which is always a good thing. Yeah. I knew it was in my top 10 favourite films. Because the last one you picked you didn't like afterwards, did you? Yeah, well, he enjoyed it, but it wasn't my favourite. Whereas this one would go on the favourite shelf, which remember we talked about last time, the favourite shelf? Nope. Go on. You did, because you said Roadhouse, wouldn't you wouldn't put it on your favourite shelf. Like, if you had a shelf, put it on. No, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, that's what you said last time. Okay. Good job, somebody remembers. But yeah. this film... I would still put it on my favourite shelf. And it is, The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I love this film. This is probably my like 12th time watching it. But obviously Josh hadn't seen it, which is one of the rules why I love that film. So I thought, aha, this is the perfect pick. So, you tell us your thoughts on The Perks of Being a Wallflower. I really liked it, um, which is a good thing to say. Obviously, I haven't liked all your previous picks. Um, you've obviously not liked all of my previous picks. So, you know, this one's good. We both really enjoyed this one. Um, gave it probably four, four and a half, I think it did. Um, it was just a really nice watch. Um, Storyline was was great. I um, loved all the characters. Uh, music was really good. It was very, very heavily influenced on the music. It was like set in the 80s, wasn't it? No, no, it's set into... No, 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 actually. Because it was about a song which had never come out, really. And it, so yeah, it was, it was set in the 80s. It is. I never really thought about it, but it doesn't really ever specify no. when it's set. But it's this definitely, definitely me. set back in. Yeah, because it got cassette tapes. Yes. And they had not mobiles. So it, right. it, it, it was. And record players. It was, it was just like a sort of coming of age film, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's a very coming of age. Show. It's a very, very good film. Um, I really enjoyed it. I like literally. I mean, he was my favourite guy. Um, it just. Was this Elliot? No? Everything that was in the film was brilliant. Um, so it was definitely, definitely a highly rated film so yeah I, I can't say much else it was really initially good. when I showed you the film did you think oh you're gonna enjoy that one no I don't know but I know it's a good film I mean look at it look at the top you got a good cast it's got yeah. five stars five stars five stars so haven't seen Percy seen it all five watch it it's good watch it. so we've got Logan Lerman who plays Charlie and I love Logan Lerman I want to watch everything that he's in I think he's so cute and he's so fun uh, I think this was the first thing I saw him in I say that it's probably not Oh yeah, he's brilliant. We've got Emma Watson, who is one of my favourite people ever. And she was fantastic in this, wasn't she? Yeah, she she's plays really Sam. Good. She's a very weird sort of character though. Yeah, different for, for her, her as well. For Emma Watson, yeah. I was yeah. going to say for Hermione then, but no. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Emma Watson, she was brilliant in this. I love her character in this. Um, and then we've got Ezra Miller, who I haven't seen anything else. And he plays... What's his name? Sam and... Is his name Elliot? I was going to say... I, I was, was going to say Dean. Well, it's not Sam and Dean. <laughs> Everything we watched is Sam and Dean. It's like into real and supernatural right now. Um, I can't remember his name. It's really going to annoy me. Patrick! His name's Patrick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. His name was not... Where, where I got Elliot from? I mean, I was watching Peach Dragon the other day, but, you know, it's not really... Anyway, so we've got Patrick. Too. Patrick's a brilliant character as well. It's got a lot of... Um, well, I say it's got a lot of diversity and it. it's not got massive. It's got, you know, some diversity in and um, one of the friends is a Buddha, which is really cool. She's really awesome. I really like her. She's very weird. What was her? I don't remember her name. I thought she still was so She was chosen like she's... strictly. She was like Buddha Punk. Y yeah, she was funny <laughs> and I liked her. She was Buddha Punk, not quite vegan, really... but not quite vegetarian yet. Still eats meat. <laughs> she was into Rocky Horror, which was another part that I loved. But the girl, did you notice that the girl who was the Buddha Punk Buddha? Um, the Buddha Punk Buddha. <laughs> was out of the duff. Yeah, you told me that when they were oh, yeah. She's yeah. like the main lead in the Duff, and I really, really like her, and I definitely want to see more of what she does. Um, but she's also been in films, she's really little. I watched this film where she was like five, and she was in a film with Sandra Bullock, and she was like five years old, and that was really cool. Anyway, so the story's great. Oh, and Paul Rudd's in this. Paul yeah. Rudd is the teacher, he's awesome. I've always been obsessed with Paul Rudd since he was uh, Mike in Friends. Uh, yeah, so Paul Rubbs in this, he was fantastic. I loved that Charlie really liked books, was really influenced by reading, and I really liked seeing that. Uh, I really liked seeing his story and his struggles and his friends and the friendships and the relationships mm -hmm. and the music. Just all around good film. Which is, it was, it's, every, there's no real bad parts of it. No. It's, it's just, just a genuine... 
awesome of those, film. It's one of those films you can just watch and you don't want it to end. You sort of just could just sit there happily. Yeah, and just like just watch their the lives whole... go over and over and over. But there's not many films which are like that. No. I don't think in when you watch one, it automatically thinks, "I need a, another movie which is exactly like that." But yeah, it never lives up to that. Does but it? the next movie you watch, you're just like, "Oh, what was that? That was just like." You know, it was just, just ruined the movie for you, so you just tried to compare them too much. So it's one of those. If you plan on watching the, this film in a movie night, don't watch it. On yeah, and I mean, sometimes we've done that before with other films that we've watched a film and thought, and oh my god, yeah, I love that. Been, and then the other really films are in the mood. It's like, oh, we'll watch a thriller. So it's like, right, right now, all we need is thriller, thriller, thriller. We watched it. It was like, oh, what was that? That was just like that was that was black comedy. You know what I mean? That's just a comedy. That was. Oh, mm -hmm. that was. You know. Not what we're after. It's like when you wanted to, um, when we watched the one with Owen Wilson, Nine Darkest Hours, was it? When they were on the um, the thingy in the islands and there was what? dark places, was it? No. With Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson, right. I watched the film. It's when he made the movie hunt. She picked up. Oh, no escape. That's no the escape. One. Yeah, no yeah, escape. Right. Really no good. escape. Right. Yeah. yeah. So when we were watching No Escape, yes, yes, we wanted another film which was exactly like that afterwards. Yes, but, but there we isn't. Find one. Yeah, that don't mean. Yeah, <coughs> we've got that. But I didn't know what you were on about. Darkest Hours, which is a film. Dark, Dark Places is, is a film. film. <laughs> and then I was thinking like Dark Skies, which <laughs> is a film. But I was like, none of these have got Owen Wilson in them. I don't remember watching any of them with you. So I was like, what? what else? So yeah, okay. it's just one of those sort of films where you, there's, <laughs> there's, a funny there's, comparison. there's nothing you can compare it to to watch afterwards. Yes. It, it, it's it's in on its, a pedestal of its own. Yeah, in, it, so. in its genre of coming age movies, this is probably really my favourite. I love it. It's brilliant. I could watch it a million times over. Could you watch it again? Would you ever watch it again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think the song, um, I don't know, it's, I think it's called Heroes or Hero by David Bowie. That was is such a good song. And every time I hear that song, I think this. Every time I see this, I think of that song in my head. And I think of Rocky Horror. So if you haven't seen The Perks Speed of Wallflower, I definitely recommend it. Needless to say, I gave it five stars. Josh gave it four and a half. Four and a half, yeah. Um, and I, I think I just really, really recommend this. I think everybody will enjoy it. Like I say, it's not your best. Favourite genre, is it? No, no. But I wouldn't typically go for that, but it's really enjoyable. Yeah, so I think everybody can enjoy this one. So yeah, now next time it'll be your pick, so you're excited. Yeah. You get to pick again, and we're going to yeah. hopefully get the ball rolling a bit and try and get them a bit more frequent. Like, it'd be cool, actually, we could actually switch back and forth one a week. Yeah, hopefully but we we'll just... have a bit more time on our hands lately to sort of do this sort of stuff. Because, I mean, you, you're doing the challenges where you're trying to tick off as many different movies as possible. And this will really help towards that. Yeah. So you're going back watching because there's so many cult classes which you've not watched. We watched The Lost Boys the other day. And I loved it. So because um, they're bringing a new series, aren't they? Where they're going to. Oh yeah, I want to watch that now. They're apparently going to be um, put, doing The Lost Boys over several decades throughout the seasons. So the vampires stay the same age, but all the other characters in the decades change around them. It sounds really cool as well. It sounds really cool. So. Um, and yeah, they're so they're bringing original cast members in as well. Good stuff, right? So that was a bit of advertising <laughs> for you there. Lots so I'm um, expecting a bit of money in the post, thank you. <laughs> so that was our episode seven, Perks in a Wallflower. I definitely recommend that you watch it. I've always said that, that was our episode seven of Perks in a Wallflower. <laughs> no, um, episode seven of Perks in a Wallflower. <laughs> and yeah, it stays my favourite show. Josh enjoyed it. That That's all good. we hope to achieve from these I Love That films, and hopefully. You'll see another one of these very soon, where Josh will be picking this movie, and hopefully yep. it'll see it on your favourite shelf, and it'll yep. be a, a good film for me. Yep. So until then, we'll see you next time. Thumbs up if you enjoy. I love that film. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you're a newbie. We'll see you then. Goodbye. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to. I asked if you were ready. Okay, it went. Ready. I'm trying not to sneeze. Do you want to sneeze first? No. <laughs> okay, well, okay, ready?